Okay, this is a mixture of a, a song and a poem. It's about the Dark Ages after the fall of the Roman Empire, as a lot of songs are. Um, it's called Vandals, Goths and Visigoths. <laughs> Vandals, Goths, and busy Goths come swooping down like starving moths, and they eat us at a house and home just like the bad old days of Rome. Just one tyrannical tribe replacing the next. Don't know the meaning of peace, love, and understanding. Don't know the meaning of a lot of words, actually. Vikings, Franks, and Danes, and Gauls keep knocking down our city walls, laying everything to waste, which uh, frankly is in quite poor taste. Yep, we build them up, they knock them down. We build them up, they knock them down. Gives them something to do, I suppose. Not sure why they got such a spite against walls, but it's their business. Sons and grandsons maimed and slaughtered. Parents brutally undaughtered. God did not fire off the mark when, when they call these ages dark. Of course. Street lighting ain't been invented yet, so it's probably another reason why they call these the, the Dark Ages. Even if, it, even if it was invented, it'd be vandalized or visigothized or something. How can our economy prosper in a world not free when Half the country lies in graves, and the other half sold off as slaves. Don't make economical sense, but that was never the Vandal's strong point. No compulsory second, not compulsory in secondary school, so why bother, eh? That's the world we live in today. Little chance of growing a beast because we're never left in peace and prosperity will always fade every time that they invade. Said it once, said it a thousand times. These guys need accountants, big time. Can't even write up simple ledgers. And as for a seat, <laughs> We hid our linen tablecloths from vandals, goths, and busy goths, but then some other warlike race burst in and found our hiding place. But uh, at least we stopped them three from setting the table properly. Probably led to their downfall at the end of the day. No self respecting warlike conqueror off a bare table, and that's what they say. Truly, we could thrive if they just left us alive, but no, they come to kill and rape and cut off all means of escape, and not much hope of thriving if you've been chopped in bits and fed to the jackals. That was always a drawback in the time of the Romans. Getting fed to the lions is not a shortcut to prosperity. Try telling them their bloodless spree will result in negative equity. They cannot see that burning fences has financial consequences. Uh, Will they listen? 
Can't see past the tips of their swords, if you ask me. We've invited them to seminars, allegorical plays, everything. Just don't get it. The worst of all was them damn vandals, desecrating our church candles and Riding filth on people's sandals and busting everyone's door handles. And God, I hate those vandals. No respect for people's property. Always scrawling graffiti on walls. Well, the ones they have knocked down anyway. Not forgetting Attila's Huns barging in with their tanks and guns and causing all kinds of distress with little financial redress. And okay, tanks and guns probably won't be invented for another thousand years, but puns don't rhyme with spears or clubs, so that's what they call poetic license. Of course, you have to pay for poetic license, they get you anyway. We thought that when the Romans went, we'd all be free of devilment, but vandals, goths, and busy goths come swooping down like starving moths. Say, boys will be boys, but. I can't be doing with their carry on. Out of control. That's what they are. Romans would show them a thing or two. Mark my words. Thank you.